So Baltimore County has been very supportive to helping Amethyst grow. We're right in the middle of our three main clients. Amethyst has been providing services to more than 15 federal government laboratory programs in the U.S. and Africa. So as Amethyst seeks to expand, we are working on four new projects in Africa where we will build, own, and operate our own laboratories and medical centers focusing on supporting Ebola-affected countries. So we're very excited about this new phase of our business. I mean, you start a business, you don't know anyone who has a business, let alone knowing someone who has a technical engineering business. So that's a hurdle that you have to overcome. Individuals wanting to go into business should look for state-run programs, county-run programs, and we use all of those programs. When I started the business, um, I also started the UMBC um, Activate program, which focused on helping women start technical businesses using uh, intellectual property from Maryland universities. So that was a critical step um, to our business success and also led us to becoming an incubator company at BW Tech. And then the universities, that's the other tool that's not utilized. Um, your alma mater is vested in your success. Um, so you shouldn't focus on paying for these resources that are readily available at no or low cost. 